Hi, I'm Jason Jasperson here at JJ Jasperson Art Studio. Today I'd like to tell you how I transformed a downtown fire hydrant into a portrait of an ancient freedom fighter. Armed with enamel paint, an approved concept, and some rocks for keeping my stuff from blowing away, I embarked on a journey of transformation. Fire hydrants from all over downtown New Ulm were prepared for a variety of artists with a pale yellow priming. I was told the colored disc facing the street, in my case green, is to be untouched as it indicates available water pressure. While rummaging through the paint supplies, I refound a can of silvery enamel auto paint from the 1960s. It provided a nice neutral tone with a metallic sheen. The metallic sheen would lead well into my subject. New Alm's favorite hammered copper defender of freedom, Hermann the German. If you don't know his story, it's pretty interesting stuff. Imagine George Washington, combined with Braveheart, taking a stand against the Roman army's advance into northern Europe. He kicked Rome's butt all around the Teutoburg forest. Around the same time, 12-year-old Jesus was schooling the scholars in the Jerusalem temple. Look him up. After allowing the silver to dry for a day, I loaded up my bike bucket with containers of primary colors and a number eight filbert bristle brush. It was time to establish the drawing. I decided, for no particular reason, to do this first stage in red. It's fun being an artist. Sometimes it's just that simple. My drawing is more than just outlines of features. I made blocks of shadow using a technique known as value reduction. Rather than lines, I wanted informed blobs. Note, there are very few close-up images of Hermann the German's face available on the internet. Maybe only one. Note, painting from a reference photo on a smartphone is a good idea, unless you're painting outside. After lunch that day, my fire hydrant was silver and red, and I thought that made it look a little like the classic Japanese sci-fi hero, Ultraman. Cool, but not right. I mixed yellow paint with blue and arrived at green. Green was a good idea because it counteracts red and reminds us of Herman's lovely sage-colored patina. I only brought green and a small nylon filbert with bristles about the size and shape of my small fingernail. It seemed to me that the red should peek through, but the green should establish a tone. Vertical stripes provided a nice solution that also referred to traditional engraving methods. Bonus historical reference. If the red indicated shadows, the green would stretch over shadow and midtones. Some red would show through, and so would the silver. Now it was getting exciting. Having an appointment with the KEYC news crew on Monday, I decided to take the, week, the weekend off. They would want footage of painting happening, so I saved some painting for the camera. I arrived in time to set up and start painting the super dark areas with black stripes. Adding the black was like adding the bass to the choir. The black lines gave a stronger sense of depth and clarity. Nice. The KEYC footage and interview happened during the black paint. Also during this time, I had a great conversation with former student, current director of programming at the Grand Center for Arts and Culture, Joseph Steinbach. Note, this project was full of pleasant conversations with passersby. Finally, it was time to add the white highlights. For a very long time, I have not always enjoyed adding the final highlights. A drawing or painting can go from good to great with a few carefully placed touches of brightness. When I look at the pre-highlight photos, they look dull to me. Adding those bits of white is like the melody finally joining the choir. Lovely. A fire hydrant is an awkward shape to paint. Fitting a subject to it is fun but challenging. I was surprised by how many New Almers didn't know Herman's face even from the reference photo. Maybe this hydrant will become another image in our collective heritage. For those who 
Just can't get it. I've left his name on top of his helmet. My name, too. Overall, I enjoyed the chance encounters with friends and strangers. Growing up in New Ulm, I remember loving the little metal motorcycle bouncy rides just a few steps away from this fire hydrant. Some kid's going to grow up remembering this weird face in the fire hydrant. I hope it doesn't make any nightmares. Hail Hydrant.